Joya. Hello, Joya. Yes, hello. Hi, nice to, nice to speak to you this morning. Thanks very much indeed for taking time to speak to us. Uh, as I said, uh, over 20 years of experience as a senior HR professional and now a career coach at Job Hunt, uh, Job Hunt HR and Management Consultancy. What, what in your, are, there, are there benefits to be had from a sabbatical in a career? Okay, sabbatical is um, you know basically taken when somebody has worked for a longer period of a time with a company and they want to take a break from a specific duty or a specific time. And this is where the internship comes as a helping hand to a department where a manager who has been a strategic thinker can actually focus a little more on a sometimes work a little more on a strategic thinking side of it or possibly take a break or go out for a studies and then they can have a helping hand on the other hand as an intern taking care of their day-to-day responsibilities and duties. The benefits over here is that for an intern who gets mentored and can actually manage and learn or can take a deep dive into a particular department of their interest, whereas on the other hand, managers, um, you know, can actually get a break from their day-to-day responsibility. Um, If they are still being on the duty and they're looking into the other section of a department, then they can strategically think about it. And if they're taking a break for education, it's good for them because their department and their day-to-day roles are taken care of. A lot of people look at sabbaticals now and just say this is the wrong time to be going for sabbatical when there is concern uh, with regards to the uh, safety and security of jobs in the market at the moment. Is there ever a good time or a bad time for a sabbatical? Uh, I don't think so that there's any such a good or a bad time. And then, you know, uh, these, these are generally sabbaticals are given to the managers who have an extensive experience. So I don't think somebody having an extensive experience and knowledge and, um, you know, qualifications should be threatened by a fresher or an intern because you should be doing much more than that. Uh, it's just that as an intern, when somebody comes in and supports your department or become a helping hand, they can do a very basic, um, you know, day-to-day jobs where they are yet, yet learning, they're going through the learning experience, they need mentoring. So I was even other day listening to the fact that saying um, it's 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 a cheap um, you know it's a cheap stuff, but then it's not that way because when you hire an intern, it's definitely an investment, uh, not only with the job or not only with the salaries that you pay, but it's more of a mentoring that goes into it, and more of an attention of um, you know teaching and making sure that the person works accordingly, supervision. So it's definitely not an, a threat or any kind of a risk to a person who's taking a sabbatical over here. I mean, you should be secure about your job. I mean, in terms of uh, what you're seeing in the marketplace at the moment, is are sabbaticals a common thing here at the moment or are they rare? Uh, they're a bit rare to this market because generally they only go over here for the, the yearly leaves and all. But I have seen sabbaticals happening in um, MNCs and many of the large organizations where they want to take a little longer period than their, uh, their, their general yearly breaks. They want to go out for education or something. They do go for it. They take sabbaticals, but it's not very uh, common in this market as yet. There is research, there are reports uh, in the, uh, globally at the moment suggesting that uh, sabbaticals can have a benefit on somebody's career. If you've got that trust uh, with your employer, uh, you can come back from a sabbatical energized with fresh ideas that will only benefit a company. Can you see the values in that? Uh, definitely. A company can uh, make sure that their department is running their day-to-day operations by having somebody who is mentored and trained to do so and can still retain their um, you know, uh, their knowledgeable, experienced person by letting them to go, uh, finish their studies or finish their projects or you know, whatever they have in their life and come back and rejoin uh, with a fresh energy and a little more knowledge or experience that they have again. At times, it's not only the education by the would want to give a sabbatical. They may also want to send their uh, managers for a particular project to another country or another location and they want him back to come back with that experience and then benefit to this department. So that is also one reason where they take sabbaticals from this department and they're working on another side of it. It's definitely a benefit because you retain your experienced staff and you still have your operations running with the help of an intern at times. And just uh, picking up on a sort of very uh, local angle here, I mean, uh, you talked about the pressures uh, of, of uh, and the fact that it it's a fairly um, uh, is very scarce, a bit of a rarity here. Is that partly to do with the fact that there is 
uh, grey area w when it comes to the Labour Department and how you would classify somebody who is on a sabbatical because would they uh, therefore no longer be employed and have to uh, reapply uh, for their job and then when they come back from their sabbatical or are there ways for employers to include them in the uh, in the payroll, in the Labour uh, law uh, and the, uh, the ways that the Department work at the moment? Well, when it comes to labor laws, it should be the lawyer uh, being the right person to talk more about it. But what I know for the fact is that my clients have been using it as a long-term vacation. When they're given a sabbatical, there is a way that you can manage it. And um, they have the ways to go ahead and give a longer break to the employee from the payrolls without having them off the payrolls or cancelling their status visa statuses. You can still give them a longer break for two to three months maximum, and then they can come back without cancelling the visa. Either. Interesting uh, ideas. Chai Bhatia, thanks so much indeed for your uh, advice, your professional advice today and thoughts uh, on the subject. It's nice talking to you. Have yourself a lovely day. Uh, thank you very much for having me with you. Uh, thanks to Jaya. She's a career coach uh, for Job Hunt HR and Management Consultancy right here in the UAE. Let's go to the news desk. Danny Norton awaits at the moment. We'll catch up with Danny, find out what we're going to be looking at in more detail at half past the hour. Bye.